Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I thought I'd really give you an in-depth look about the Ready to Ship Digital Storm Lynx gaming PCs because apparently now there's the Ready to Ship, there's custom orders, and then there's different options besides the Ready to Ship that you can choose from within this gaming PC. Back when I first got my PC, I didn't have those options. The only options I had was the good, better, great, and then the ultimate. So there was four options. And let me tell you this, they were a lot better than what I'm seeing now, especially for the price points and the stuff that's included within the components of the actual gaming PC. So without further ado, this video is literally just taking a look at the specs and the differences between the better and the ultimate of the Ready to Ship Digital Storm gaming PC. All right, so we're at the homepage of where you can see the different types and the different names of the computers that Digital Storm sells with their gaming collection. So as you guys can see, the first one's Lynx, second one's Lumos, third Velox, fourth Aventum, and then the fifth is the Bolt, which is down here, which I'm scrolling down to. It's the 15 92. Now, here's the thing. When I first bought my computer, it wasn't in this order. The Lynx was actually, I believe, the second or third best. Now the Lynx is the starter pack. And I believe the Velox, back in the day, was the first one to be the starter. Like, it was cheap. And now it's one of the most expensive and supposedly one of the best that they personally made. So, you can tell where they've started to really organize the computers a little bit differently and started to make them better and or worse. Now, I'm not saying the Lynx isn't the worst computer that's available but it's also not the best and that's an obvious case as to how many videos I've made about the digital storm computer that I have I'm gonna select the links and now we're on the actual part where it gives details about the link so I'm gonna scroll down real quick where it says maximum performance it says up to 12 core processor it says up to a 5 gigahertz turbo boost as in the core like the CPU then it has a 64 gigabytes of memory which that's a fair amount up to 3.5 gigabytes speed of SSD which is actually pretty good. Then we have a 15 terabyte storage space, which is insane. And especially for someone who creates different things like a, a heavily edited video or has multiple things that require a lot of planning for video making and or animation. For my PC right now, I think I have two terabytes, which is literally nothing. So all the sound effects I use in my videos, all the music I use in my videos, that all is saved in here, as well as external drives. So that way I don't lose, cause that computer I don't trust anymore. I've had it crash on me so many times, I don't want it to erase Data. So it's only two terabyte and that's nothing because there's there's 1,000 gigabytes and one terabyte So essentially you have 15,000 gigabytes of storage for the highest model you can possibly own now This is also in reference to the custom builds What I'm only doing in this video is showing you guys the difference between the better version and the ultimate version Because those are the ones that are the only ones that are ready to be shipped and uh, one to three business days So it says up to 260. I don't know what that is to be honest I've never even heard of T-flops. We're at the ready to ship. So as you guys can see, there's ready to ship and then there's custom order. We're only going to take a look at the ready to ship. So I'm going to view configurations. And now as you guys see, there's only two options. I never got this choice when I was here. So without further ado, there's better and then there's ultimate. So we're going to take a look at better first. And keep in mind, these prices are before taxes. So you're going to be paying probably a, at least $200 more. So better, $999. That's not bad. It's one of three business days for both of them, which is insane because I was waiting 35 days just for my computer to come in. Now, what I hate is that when it tells you the different categories and ratings where it says gaming and multitasking, these are not true at all. I guess a an estimate as to what they can do in terms of their gaming and multitasking. Even with pre-builds, I still recommend researching the parts to ensure satisfaction. I have Intel Core i7 9700K. Now, the only difference between 9700K and a 9700F is that the 9700F is going to have a higher frequency when reading things, which I, it's really not that big of a deal. It's honestly not going to do much for you. And they both have the same thing. So between the 9700K and 9700F, it's really not a, a huge difference. So this has a NVIDIA GTX 1650 with a four gigabyte. This graphics card, not gonna lie, it sucks. The GTX, I believe, stands for the G-Sync of ray tracing, which is a little bit lower than the RTX of ray tracing. So the RTX is like the best you can get. 
1650, I don't personally recommend getting anything lower than a 20 series because a 1650 is really not going to do anything. Especially if it's 4 gigabytes, it's going to be a really bad graphics card. 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, this is literally nothing. This is disgusting, actually. I believe I have 16 gigabytes, and even that's on the borderline of good and, like, bad at the same time. So it's, it's, it's like the fair median. 8 gigabytes is really like the below average kind of deal. So you're not getting a whole lot there. 240 gigabytes of solid state drive, that is awesome. Awful. That's literally gonna run so slow after about a year, especially if you guys have been hearing again how many complaints I've had over my computer with how the 500 gigabytes of solid state drive is making the computer somewhat slow. The average is 500. Two terabytes of 7200 RPM storage. It's all right. It's not terrible and it's not the best though. You have Windows 10 on both. Windows 10, yes, it's good. It's the most recent one and it's got the antivirus thing already attached to it. This guy here is not gonna be good for a gaming PC whatsoever. For a streaming PC, yes, because it's not overkill and it's enough to be able to run a stream successfully. So, yes, it's good for streaming. Gaming, absolutely not. And I'm sure a lot of the, the employees there, if you have questions about it, they're going to say, oh, it's good for gaming. Trust me. No, it's not. So now we go to the ultimate here. It's $1,500 and this thing has the bar going all the way through the roof, which I don't understand because that's not true. Again, it has the same processor as the better, which it's no better than mine, which mine's fairly decent. The Radeon RX 5700 XT 8 gigabyte. This thing is not good at all. I will be very honest with you. There's three different brands. There's Radeon, there's Ryzen AMD, and then there's the obvious NVIDIA GeForce RTX series. So the Radeon RX 5700 is like a scaled model to a 1600 graphics card from NVIDIA. It's it's pretty bad. Like that graphics card will do you no good at all. So you're paying a lot of money for nothing. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. That's what I have. Again, that's like the median average. You have 500 gigabytes of SSD with this PC so it's the same as mine and yes it does run fairly smooth but then you have the same two terabyte storage and then the Windows 10 like the other one did so overall guys these two PCs I personally like the better version way more than the ultimate version the only reason why I say that again is because it's got the Nvidia in it it's got the trusted brands it's literally got things that I think are good for streaming PC just not for gaming overall these two PCs you're just gonna be paying a lot more money than what you should be for these different parts and pieces to get a ready to ship within one to three days. So personally, I don't believe you should even think about getting a ready to ship gaming PC from Digital Storm. I don't know what NZXT has for sale, but that might be a whole nother video. If you guys want that, leave a like on this video. But other than that, guys, I'm pretty disappointed in how they've structured the links now because it's just, I never had these options. And after seeing these options, I kind of want to throw up, like not even kidding. And if you guys want me to review the, the custom builds, I can, that'll be more in depth, like a 20 minute long video at least, cause I need to go through all the different specs and everything but uh, this i'm just so disappointed like digital storm what are you doing thank you so much for watching i love you guys subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace